Hello and welcome. I'm Linda Ciotola, trainer, educator, practitioner of psychodrama, group psychotherapy, and sociometry. And my degree, my master's degree is in education from Loyola of Maryland. My concentrations were in secondary education, English, fine arts, drama, and theater. I had a minor in philosophy and theology. Later, I went on to discover and love health education as well. I found in all my years of teaching that there is enthusiasm and creativity when action methods are brought to education by bringing historical and literary figures to life by role play, by using objects to concretize abstract concepts. For example, the friendly owl can concretize the left brain and the right brain working together. I have found especially that, to my surprise, adults love using what I call furry auxiliaries as much as the younger students do. So the other thing I wanted to share with you is that it's very possible and in fact exciting and creative to use action methods when you are working with any age group, but it's a way to really help you meet your educational goals and standards in a way that's not only creative, but that's so engaging to students that they really experience the meaning of what you're trying to teach. An example I have is when I was teaching my trainees about using sociodrama to use as a perspective for getting all of the different uh, characters, if you will, in a particular historical event and to see the historical event through the eyes of each different participant. So the example I used came actually from Dr. Moreno, founder of Psychodrama, who took a leave of absence from medical school in his second year to go and help those who were interred in an internment camp in Austria. They were Italians. This was in World War I. And of course at the camp there were all of the uh, people who were interred there. There were children. There were men and women. Uh, some people had relatives there, others did not, knew no one. Uh, there were the guards who were from the German army. There, of course, were the people back home who were wondering, you know, what had happened to them. And there was Dr. Moreno himself. So what I found was that by enacting the scenes and giving each of my students a chance to be in all of the roles, what they discovered and they told me with great enthusiasm at the end of the exercise that they had never learned about any historical event from different perspectives and had an appreciation for how different people could view the very same event so differently. And so that's just one small example of how we can reach people through action methods and teach them in a way that we can't do simply by standard methods of teaching. So if you'd like to learn more, you certainly can explore Action Explorations. There's Action Explorations mm -hmm. by Adam Blattner. And there are a series of articles in here. One is by yours truly on how to use action methods in non-therapeutic fields, such as education. But the reason I'm here now is to invite you to join us for the ASGPP conference. It's online this year from March the 30th to April the 2nd. You can register for the whole conference. You can join us for the taster evening on March 30th when we will be exploring how action methods can be applied to so many fields. Please join us, come and register at ASGPP.org. I hope to see you there.